It is August 12th, almost midnight. I'm on my way into the farm here. Gonna go grab the shipping documents. I have to go get our fish. So this is a big day. <laughs> Due to unforeseen circumstances of the thing that happened. The sea with the 19. We were not able to get our fish across the border for the last few months when we started up our farm. So finally, we were able to arrange a flight and shipment to Boston. The two boxes of fish to start up a small fish, fish system got flown directly to Boston. They were picked up at South, Southwest Cargo at uh, 5.30 today, and they are one hour away, and they will be delivered to the Irving just across the border. I have to go over on commercial business, which is permitted during uh, this time, and go get it. So it is a little bit weird for me, I guess, right now, but I've got all my paperwork. I'm gonna go in here and grab it. We got the tanks ready to go in there. Uh, Gary Chapman, our fish master Jedi, has been down here all week getting our system ready to operate and it is ready for our baby fish and uh, it'll take a couple months to build the nutrient up but uh, we got to get them in today and get rocking and rolling so uh, I'm gonna record this momentous occasion let's cross the uh, American border and go get some fish we got all our paperwork here we have our custom brokers document I have my fish transfer license and all the paperwork that goes along with it. And of course, just in case, commercial aquaculture license. So I just gave them all my paperwork and my passport. And now I'm parked on the other side of the American border waiting for them to review my passport and paperwork. Um, and yeah, told him I was picking up baby tilapia, and this is not nerve wracking at all. All right, we got the Gary Chapman here. We got the fish in the back. Oh, you can't really see this with all the lights are out. There we go. Bam, two boxes of live fish, fresh from the U.S. Crossing the border was not fun. <laughs> And it was very stressful. And they asked lots of questions, but they were very nice. They were very nice. It cost me $13. I was literally over there for 10 minutes. It is, it's 1.30 a.m. right now. But these fish gotta get, they need to get into their tanks because they've been in their box for less than 24 hours. The moment of truth. All right, Gary. Time to load these babies up. We will never be without fish again. Holy snapper getties. One thing about Damien, he packs really nice. You see after 24 hours, still lots of oxygen. So we're going to float them in the bag. So they're going to acclimate. In there. Plus the washroom still. Oh yeah. Yeah, all that air. All, all that. But he's been doing it for 27 years, so he knows what he's doing. <laughs> and here we go, tank number two. Wow, wow. Success. Just gonna slowly add some water, system water. Yeah, 
Mirage. Water's meet Courtney Bay. Hey, you're free. You're free. James Smith the Yard first one. Go enjoy the big thing. She was launched with a groan and thud. She's like they find you stuck two weeks in the Marsh Creek mud. There's no ship here can catch her. And it's never pool in 15 days. The seven seas and name will raise. The wind in her hair and her sails unfurled. She's the fastest ship in the world. Gary, fish good? Fish good? Fish living? They're in their new home. Gary, Gary didn't take a picture of him off the there's no ship here can catch her And it's Liverpool in 15 days The seven seas a name will praise The wind in her hair and her sails unfurled She's the fastest ship in all the world